All right, you guys, thanks for hanging around again for our One Hit Wonders. Today we're talking about how much water you need to bring. Two gallons per person per day. See, your click, your click is already worth it. Now you know. Now, hey, that's a conservative estimate. I'll tell you why I have a conservative estimate, and then I'm going to talk about a few items, do a little show and tell here uh, to make your life a bit easier. Okay, so two gallons per person per day. I'm up here giving you guys a recommendation for a rule of thumb on what you need to bring with you. If you start doing the math, that's a lot of water. But when you think about it, if you want to water your pets, you want to do your dishes, you want to wash your face, you want to cook your food, and you want to drink, you want to be conservative because it starts to add up. You should be safe with two gallons per person per day. And if you do some more math, you start thinking, wow, that's a lot of water. Uh, do you guys know how much a gallon of water weighs? I'll give you a hint. It's more than the human head. It's about 8.34 pounds. I know because I just looked it up on the internet. I'm kidding. I actually keep that number in the back of my head because weight is super key when you're planning an expedition, right? If you're going to be gone for a little while, you plan around the poundage or kilos or whatever it happens to be. Um, so that means you want to, when possible, find water at the source. And so you want to filter your water. Let's talk about some alternatives. So first of all, these little things by Hydropack, not sponsored, uh, these little things by Hydropack, we love them because they pack very small. And then when you fill them up with water, of course, they're larger. It's very handy. They pack to a very compact size. So again, those are from Hydropack. Love those things. And this is for convenient water. I've got five gallons of water on the back of the rig here that is handy. It's got the little faucet on it. Um, but I'm not going to lug that around. I have a smaller container, okay? So filtering water. I've had this MSR pump filter for years and years and years, and you can filter from any water source. It has, it's very simple, a pump and a filter. Put this in the, in the, in the water source, use the pump, fill your container. Now, it also has a lid that fits an MSR water bottle, but the pump works regardless. Life straw. This will clean the water. You can drink right out of the water source, and this will filter 264 gallons before it's considered used up. So that's quite, quite a bit. Now, you guys are probably thinking, filter from what? Now that's a whole topic of conversation and I'm going to give you some resources, but I'm not going to sit up here like Dr. Michael and tell you what filters for what, when, why, and how. Uh, instead, I'm going to provide the EPA link for that information. You can filter with bleach if you're careful and you do it in the right way. You can filter with iodine. You can filter by boiling water and it will work with some things and not with others. For example, you have to, you have to handle heavy metals and things of that nature a very specific way. So link in the description, go find out all the hows and the whats and the stuff you need to filter for. Uh, it's a great resource. One stop, you'll get all that information. Okay, so that's the life straw. Now, one thing we don't have that I would like to have is a five gallon, um, is a five gallon water filter jug. You, you fill it up with five gallons, the water that comes out is filtered. Now, those are kind of spendy. They're convenient, they're spendy. I looked one up on the, on the interwebs uh, just a little while ago, and they're almost $300 to get that. But super handy. Instead of dealing with this, or instead of dealing with a little tiny pump that is okay for filling up this, you can fill up a five-gallon water container, and the water that comes out is filtered, and that's the way I'd like to go. All right, you guys. Hey, I hope this was useful. That's the standard breakdown, two gallons per person per day. Plan around that, and you'll be safe. Um, and, of course, we like your subscriptions. We like you to hit the bell. You'll get notified. We're doing these videos on a daily basis, so thanks for your patience, as the production value might not be up as high as they were at one time. Uh, but we like to give you the content in these wacky times uh, so that we can plan for our adventure. If we're not adventuring now, we're certainly planning. So here's some information so that when we are ready to get out there, we'll be prepared. Hey, you want to become an Overland Bound member? Go over to store.overlandbound.com. 25,000 members worldwide. It's a great community to support you if you're planning some kind of adventure. Thank you, guys. Hope you guys hope 
Thank you guys. I hope you are doing well and we'll see you tomorrow.